Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is September 21st, 2.30 p.m. in Japan time. As usual today, I'd like to report in a about 10-minute YouTube video all the important uh, world news that has happened over the last 24 hours. For those of you uh, new viewers and subscribers to my channel, uh, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. I traveled the world, a bunch of different countries, then came back to Tokyo, Japan, where I was born towards the end of last year. Just started this channel you're watching right now, the English channel, only about a few months ago. Started the Japanese channel back in January, so still brand new to YouTube. Uh, so very much would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and follow me going forward uh, as usual today i want to first stick with the numbers uh, when i report world news i want to first go over the numbers and numbers i usually look at stock markets across the world how they moved as all types of world news it is reflected usually in global stock markets so first start with that and then go into economic news society news political news and at the very end i'll give you my opinion on what i think is the most important news of the day as well as answer some questions and comments uh, from the youtube comment section so let's get started here. First and foremost, what happens? Uh, what happened today in the global stock markets? In terms of global stock markets today, right now, currently North American markets are still closed. European markets will open in a few hours from now. So the only markets open are actually in Asia. And in Asia, Japan is on a holiday. Japan has a lot of holidays. I think the most national holidays in the world. Uh, so the markets that are open currently right now in Hansang, Hong Kong is down right now 1.13%. CSI China is down 0.56%. And we see uh, ASX Australia down about 0.77% at the moment. Uh, really not much moving going on. We see uh, U.S. futures we see are down about 0.38%, continuing to move down from Friday at the moment, opening, see, indicating right now that it seems that European and uh, U.S. markets, when they open, they're going to open uh, a lot lower. Otherwise, we see Indian markets are up today about 0.23%. Again, showing that uh, it seems that Asian markets are kind of showing a mixed uh, reflection of whatever u.s markets are showing it seems that there's a continuing to be a decoupling and asset rotation going on for further details on this please see my video from last week on u.s markets and uh, three charts that i don't like so let's move on now to economic news of the day today what was announced in terms of economic news today what was announced first and foremost we saw in asia uh asian market shares are, are going down for the most part uh, and we also see in China, the People's Bank of China, the central bank, held its benchmark interest rate steady for now five months in a row. Uh, it's called a one-year LPR, long-term prime rate. It was held steady, fifth straight month in a row, and the same central bank maintained borrowing costs on medium-term loans as well. So all in all, no really new news here. And otherwise, guys, I didn't see that much. Uh, Philippine retail sales prices, uh, they rose a little bit in July, and the Georgian economy shrinks for the first time since 2009. But these are very small economies, on Unfortunately, I don't think uh, that is important in terms of world economic news for the day. So let's move on to society news of the day. And first and foremost, I want to report on coronavirus. In terms of coronavirus, daily new cases announced today worldwide for September 20th was 249,164. Uh, again, it's a a little bit difficult to see whether this is a reflection of the weekend or not given the fact that it is monday uh it's reported for 20th uh meaning that is probably this is testing that was done on saturday worldwide so i'm a little bit uh skeptical whether this data is accurate or not again daily new deaths reported today was for september 20th at 3891 uh same drop so again i'm a little bit skeptical how accurate this data is uh, looking as per country here in terms of daily new deaths today reported we see uh in india we saw 87,000, about 300 new cases reported in the u.s reported about 33,000 new cases brazil about 16,000, france about 10,000, argentina about 8,000, colombia russia peru mexico 4,000 uh to 6,000 range again all these numbers went down at the same time to me indicating that statistically i think it's a high chance of this is just the weekend effect and unfortunately these numbers will probably go back up as we go into tuesday and wednesday uh as testing starts getting reported for uh, the weekdays instead of the weekend now let's move on to other types of news today lots of actually uh, political slash uh, sort of economic news out today in the banking sector so uh, a report was actually uh, issued uh, of, of, that was actually a leak by a US government agency called FinCEN this is the financial crimes enforcement network the US Department of Treasuries uh, department and it actually reported several different things one report suggested that the leaked government file suggested US uh, Deutsche Bank tops the list of suspicious transactions Germany's largest lender, Deutsche Bank, appears to have facilitated more than half of the leaked two trillion of suspicious transactions that were flagged to the U.S. government over the last two decades. So uh, Deutsche Bank shares, I'm sure, are going to be reflected of this. The stock's probably going to get hit 
when the markets open in Germany. Also, uh, HSBC and Standard Charter were also reflected in this report. Uh, Hong Kong shares of Standard Chartered and HSBC fell on Monday after the banks, among several global lenders, were identified in the report of allegedly moving large sums of suspicious funds. Uh, so again, we're seeing that the banks are being reflected. Japan uh, markets are not open, but it seems like the bank sector is probably going to get hit as a result of this. Uh, so I would sort of assume that U.S. banks are also going to get hit. Japan banks maybe temporarily get hit off this report. But so far, it doesn't seem that Japanese banks are highlighted in this report at all. Uh, and U.S. banks, I don't really see that much highlighted yet so far. So it may be hopefully sort of a contained effect. Otherwise, we see news about how for the Oracle TikTok deal, ByteDance, uh, the parent company of TikTok, says it will not transfer its algorithm and technology to Oracle as part of the TikTok deal. This is sort of not a surprise at all, as uh, the U.S. companies Walmart and Oracle will only get a combined 20 percent share. Moving on to the Wall Street Journal today. Um, <clears throat> again, top news. Same as news as yesterday of how Trump says he's going to nominate a woman to the Supreme Court this week. Uh, so we'll see who will fill this uh, vacancy at the moment. So far, we see contenders like Lisa Murkowski of Alaska uh, to oppose the filling of the court and also Susan Collins of Maine. Uh, both seem like they're uh, contenders at the moment. Otherwise, we're seeing not much news worldwide. I don't see that much news. Uh, Biden shows some leads uh, in uh, Biden sh leads Trump among Latino voters. Poll shows uh, this is already really no surprise to me, in my in my opinion. Uh, today in The Economist, we saw a news piece article talking about the UN renews its vows in a 75th birthday general non-assembly. So this is the 75th anniversary of the UN. Just as a reminder, guys, the UN was built 1945 after the World War II. And since then, uh, only 50 countries originally signed the UN Charter. But now uh, there's about 193, 194 countries, I believe, that have been signed. And this uh, usually it's, an, you know, this is done in New York. I remember always living in New York. I actually lived near the UN one time and it's usually locked down with lots of patrol cars and this year obviously due to corona uh, a lot of it is done uh, online or via digitally so uh, just showing sort of a uh, historical record of the UN and what it's done and all the big events that has taken place if you guys have time I think this is a good article sort of uh, brief over as well other types of news so we ta saw see today, uh, CNN uh, talking again about how the Supreme Court fight adds stunning new twist to crisis election. The U.S. is barreling into ultimate political stress test, a Supreme Court battle and election occurring in the middle of an again worsening pandemic. Uh, sort of very dramatic way of talking about this. But, um, you know, this is sort of it, it, it is what it is. I guess that's kind of what we say in Wall Street. Um, you know, there's going to be an election and. Uh, there's a going to be a Supreme Court battle because uh, Ginsburg uh, passed away and you know, Republicans are sure they're going to vie to fight the fight very, very hard to get another Republican nominee before the election. Uh, you know, just in case Trump loses, getting another getting another Republican in would be a very, very big deal for the Republicans. So we'll see how this goes. Otherwise, guys, lots of focus today is on HSBC and Stan Chart and Deutsche Bank uh, involved in the possible scams. Uh, and this leak uh, again not much details coming out regarding this FinCEN leak uh, it's just talking about how HSBC allowed fraudsters to transfer millions of dollars around the world even after it had learned of their scam leak secret file shows uh, especially it seems like in 2013 2014 so again uh, not many details about this but I would assume the bank shares are going to get uh, hit probably in during US hours again as well is usually what happens is when there's a big piece of news out in the entire sector Usually the people who own banks across the world, uh, usually there's just people who own, you know, bank stocks, their bank investing stocks, uh, bank investors. And these guys, these fund managers will usually have to shift some funds usually out of these, uh, you know, and possibly out of the whole bank sector in general, thinking that there's going to be some contagion risk. Otherwise, political, just talking liberals want blood. Joe Biden sticking with bipartisanship. Joe, po political is becoming more and more and more very dramatic recently, kind of like a Fox News version of the left wing at the moment. So uh, not that much there. I think it's more entertainment news. 
So guys, in my opinion, the biggest news of the day, uh, definitely by far, it's this leak on the bank news. Uh, this is going to be hitting the banks worldwide. Stand Chart and HSBC are already getting hit. Uh, Deutsche Bank will get hit. Let's see how this U.S. markets react. Uh, U.S. markets, uh, what sort of was interesting is that in the U.S. markets, even recently during this whole whole move down right now recently with uh, uh, you know the Nasdaq moving down quite swiftly, we're seeing that in the U.S. markets actually, uh, the the bank sector is actually quite strong. It's quite resilient. It's not moving that much. So I'll be very curious as to how to how it moves down, especially you know looking at Friday's action. Friday, uh, Nasdaq was down, you know, 1.2 percent. The S&P was down almost 1 percent, while XLF, the bank sector, was only down 0.2 percent. So let's see how the sector reacts uh, when the markets open in several hours from now on Monday and. We'll kind of see how it goes from there but i think that's the biggest news of the day in terms of some questions from the audience i got lots of questions regarding my video yesterday uh you know talking a lot of people asking me about the difference between softbank and softbank group and softbank telecom holdings guys i understand they're different companies i understand they're listed differently but look at the ownership <laughs> at the end of the day yes softbank mobile is a different company it's listed differently yes the chart looks similar to kddi docomo but you can't analyze it the same way because it's part of softbank SoftBank Group and SoftBank Group is an investment fund. If the SoftBank Group does something big, it will be reflected in SoftBank Mobile. Uh, so I don't think analyzing them together makes any sense. But again, I maintain my thesis that you should be very careful about uh, putting too much emphasis on high dividends, and you should more put emphasis, I think, on actual principal gain instead of just trying to, uh, you know. Uh, keep taking in dividends. As at the end of the day, dividends are not going to save you uh, when there's a big move in the market overall. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Uh, thanks again for watching my channel. Very much appreciate it. Uh, I was getting lots of comments yesterday about how my video, the uh, Google translation was in a different language uh, for those of you Japanese viewers. So I think it's because I spoke some of the different languages at the end. I'll keep it only to English. Uh, I won't be teaching new languages. Otherwise, the Google al algorithm gets twerked for some reason. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Adios, guys. See you later.